guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about whether or not people with darker skin tones can use glycolic acid. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. What is glycolic acid? Well, it is an ingredient in the family of ingredients called alpha hydroxy acids. Alpha hydroxy acids work to dissolve the glue um, between uh, skin cells and they help exfoliate the skin. They also help in um, increasing the penetration of other active ingredients by smoothing out the surface of the skin. And alpha hydroxy acids can trigger skin cell renewal in the deeper layers of the skin. And with long-term use, that ultimately can translate into a firming effect. Alpha hydroxy acids, like glycolic acid, are used in dermatology to treat fine lines, acne, and hyperpigmentation. Specifically, in dermatology, we use uh, alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid in peels, in chemical peels. Chemical peels designed to smooth out the surface of the skin or to remove hyperpigmentation or help accelerate the rate of clearance of hyperpigmentation and to treat acne. And they can be incredibly effective. However, over the counter, you will find numerous skincare products with glycolic acid. To be clear, you're not gonna find a skincare product with glycolic acid that is at the strength that we use in chemical peels. That's not safe for people to just randomly be using. It's too, too strong. So the glycolic acid that you're gonna find in skincare products is a much lower percent strength than much weaker products, but that can, they can still help in exfoliating the skin and improving the look of acne and hyperpigmentation. Now, glycolic acid is the smallest alpha hydroxy acid. It penetrates the deepest into the skin to exfoliate the skin and is more robust in terms of its exfoliating power in comparison to the other alpha hydroxy acids like lactic acid and mandelic acid. Why is it that people claim that people with darker skin types should avoid glycolic acid in their skincare products? Well, there's good reason to be cautious when using glycolic acid if you have a deeper skin tone. Because glycolic acid exfoliates the skin, it can cause a lot of irritation. And for somebody with a deeper skin tone, that irritation translates into post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is a nightmare to try and get rid of. And in many cases, you're using products with glycolic acid in an effort to already to improve existing hyperpigmentation. So the last thing you want is hyperpigmentation as a side effect. And that definitely can happen with using glycolic acid. Truthfully though, it can happen with any ingredient that's irritating to your skin. It's not unique to glycolic acid, but glycolic acid is something that's exfoliating the skin. So it's probably more likely than say, you know, an ingredient in your moisturizer that's not exfoliating. The other thing you have to be very mindful of when it comes to considering using glycolic acid in your skincare routine is what else are you using? If you are only using a glycolic acid product, you know, one to two nights a week, and that's the only type of exfoliant that you're using, it might be just fine. But if you're making the mistake of using multiple exfoliating products, whether they be chemical exfoliants, like salicylic acid, um, or mechanical exfoliants, like a lot of scrubs, that's gonna add to your risk of irritation. Exfoliating and exfoliating and exfoliating, it's too, too much. For any skin tone, any skin type, can lead to dryness, irritation, flares of acne, and in the case of deeper skin tones, worsening hyperpigmentation, which is the last thing you want. Um, you know, and when I talk about hyperpigmentation, I'm not just talking about a one or two week thing. You guys out there know firsthand, this type of hyperpigmentation, it lasts for years sometimes. Very frustrating. The other issue that you can run into when using glycolic acid, especially if you have a deeper skin tone, is that maybe you're using it too often. You really only need to use something like this one to two nights a week at maximum. If you're using it daily or twice daily, that's probably too much and that can cause problems. The other mistake that you may be making if using glycolic acid is not making sure that you are aggressive with sun protection. Taking a step back, when it comes to improving hyperpigmentation, you will get nowhere. You will get nowhere without aggressive sun protection. I'm talking sunscreen 
and wearing hats, being very mindful of your sun exposure. But if you are using alpha hydroxy acid, you really, really, really need to not neglect the sun protection because what alpha hydroxy acid does is it smooths out the surface of the skin, making, making the skin um, more even. And as a result, sun has a more focused penetration into the skin. And because of that, you are at even greater risk for sun-induced hyperpigmentation. Now, if you've seen any number of my videos about uh, sun and light and hyperpigmentation, you should know at this point that sun contain, has ultraviolet radiation and it has visible light. Both ultraviolet radiation and visible light can come through the window, specifically UVA, as ultraviolet radiation and then visible light, they come through window glass. And both of those can and do contribute to hyperpigmentation. There was a recent study actually in people with darker skin tones that showed that simply using sunscreen alone improved their hyperpigmentation versus doing nothing. So don't, don't sleep on the sun protection. Unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation out there that people with deeper skin tones, they don't need sunscreen because they, they don't burn and their in, rates of skin cancer are much lower, but you do because the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is one, one manifestation of sun-induced damage to your skin. Uh, so you do still need to be protecting your skin from the sun, and this, this is a classic example of why. Uh, when using glycolic acid, I mean, if you're not militant with the sun protection, you can really run into, run into problems. Beyond protecting your skin from the sun, the other important piece to include in your skincare routine, if you're using glycolic acid, is to make sure that you're moisturizing. Most sunscreens are moisturizing, but at nighttime, you wanna make sure you use a moisturizer too, because the glycolic acid, as I said, it's gonna kind of smooth out the surface of the, of the skin. It's exfoliating stuff. As it exfoliates, um, you can lose more water out of your skin that can make your skin dry and more prone to irritation. Remember, you hear irritation, that equates to increased risk of pigmentation, um, which you don't want. You don't want hyperpigmentation. So make sure you use a moisturizer is really important. Now, moisturizers often have active ingredients in them that also can help with reducing hyperpigmentation. Niacinamide, soy, and licorice root are three ingredients that are really good for repairing dry skin, and they also help in improving hyperpigmentation by addressing some of the biology that leads to increased production of pigment abnormally. So it's a really good idea to use a moisturizer that has one of these. It will help calm down that irritation and it will also help address the um, hyperpigmentation and it will help in facilitating skin barrier repair and moisture retention. So why would anybody with a deeper skin tone necessarily want to incorporate alpha hydroxy acid into their skincare routine? As I said, it's helpful for improving acne and it can actually help in clearing your hyperpigmentation by exfoliating the skin and bringing up some of that superficial hyperpigmentation out of the surface of the skin. And if you're using uh, treatments like hydroquinone, alpha hydroxy acid, because it smooths out the surface of the skin, it can actually help those uh, treatments penetrate into your skin uh, better. So it's not off the table and it can be useful. What are the alternatives to glycolic acid, especially for people with deeper skin tones who are looking for that ex exfoliating piece to smooth out the surface of the skin, but want to escape the added risk of irritation or at least minimize the risk? I would suggest instead using another alpha hydroxy acid. Glycolic acid, as I said, is the smallest one, so it penetrates the most deeply and exfoliates the most robustly. But you could also consider using lactic acid or mandelic acid. They're more gentle. They are a little bit more slow as far as exfoliating, but they certainly can work. And a benefit of those too is that they are hydrating, so they can help your skin hold on to water better. Beyond alpha hydroxy acids, another great option, especially for people with sensitive skin, is a polyhydroxy acid. Polyhydroxy acids include things like zinc gluconate, gluconolactone, and these uh, really help in boosting up hydration in the skin, but they, they're super gentle exfoliants. I mean, they're, they're very slow you know, acting, and you can get a nice, nice smoothing effect with consistent use that isn't to all all at once and overly aggressive so that would be another great option if you're wanting to exfoliate the skin 
and minimize the risk of irritation. I would suggest polyhydroxy acids. So take home point, people with deeper skin tones, they can use glycolic acid, but they have to be even more cautious because of that risk of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Um, but they're not off the table, and we do use them in dermatology clinic to treat people with deeper skin tones in peels, but we are much more conservative in, in our approach when using them in people with deeper skin tones. It's just something that you have to be more mindful of, and you really have to critique your background skincare routine, other things that you may be using that could put you at greater risk for hyperpigmentation with glycolic acid. And of course, regardless of what you do, I mean, regardless of who you are, if you have skin, the sun protection piece is key. That includes the sunscreen and wearing hats and, and sun protective clothing and not laying out in the sun, staying out too, too long. And of course, lastly, is gonna be moisturizing your skin to make sure your skin doesn't get dry or irritated while using an exfoliant. So that's what I can tell you guys about using glycolic acid for deeper skin tones. Um, I hope this information was helpful to you guys and helps you to make better decisions as far as your skincare products and skincare routine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.